Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. It's been a while since I posted on here, hasn't it? Actually, how long has it been? I haven't posted on this channel in six months, but uh, in my defense, I've been busy. Dang, I didn't realize it's been that long, but my last video on this channel got 1.5 million views. That's pretty good for this channel. I don't know why I haven't posted on here in a while. I guess I feel like I have been prioritizing the main channel more and stuff like that. So I apologize if you, if you live for the second channel content, but here I am again. I've got a LaCroix and I want to try to do a Reddit video. It's kind of a thing that other YouTubers do. Shout out to Cody. It's kind of his thing on his second channel. I think PewDiePie does it too. So it's sort of his thing. A lot of people have it as their thing. And so now it's going to be my thing too now on this channel. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to, I want to, I'm going to do one and we'll see if it's fun. And then maybe I'll do more in the future. I just, I want more things to post on this second channel. Cause I do feel like I did put in a bit of an effort to make this second channel and to get it to where it is today. And then I stopped posting on it. So if you don't know, I have a subreddit. It's r slash Danny Gonzalez and uh, people post on there fairly often. And I, I check it out once every couple days just to see what people are saying. And sometimes there's funny stuff. Excuse me. And sometimes there's funny stuff on here. And sometimes there's like questions that people want to know about me and stuff like that. So maybe I can answer those and it would be interesting or uh, interesting to see my reaction to some of the things on here. So let's go ahead and look at my subreddit. Should I sort by hot or new? I feel like we probably want the cream of the crop for a first try, especially since there's not that many people posting on here right now. So we'll probably want to go for hot. This is the top thing on my subreddit. Behold the Gregma Nation. It was posted 15 hours ago. It says Alpha, Sigma, and Gregma. Yeah, I guess I am sort of the pinnacle of man. The absolute peak male that, that there could be. Maybe I should start making tutorials on how to be a Gregma male. And it'll basically just be a tutorial on how to act like me all the time. So basically what you're going to want to do in any social situation is try to avoid conversation as much as possible. Because you know you're not very good at making conversation. If you're at like a restaurant or something and the waiter makes a mistake, maybe they bring you the wrong drink. It's important for you to apologize to them even if they misheard you. Because it does feel like your fault, even if it's not your fault. If you want to be on the top of the male hierarchy, it's important that you cannot grow beard. I think that's the clear progression from Alpha to Sigma to Gregma. He starts off with a pretty full beard. It gets a little patchy when you get to Sigma. By the time you're Gregma, you're basically a baby. Danny should have one of these in every single corner of his room. Oh shit, he's got animated eyes. <laughs> I don't know why that's necessary. When have you ever thought that like the the one thing missing from my Christmas decorations is that their eyes can't move around and like follow me around the house? That's so scary. It does have beautiful blue eyes though. Did his pupils change size too? What the hell is going- I don't understand why his eyes would need to move and I definitely don't understand why his pupils would be getting bigger and smaller. Okay, this comment agrees with me. Oh, that's terrifying. I think I've seen that exact same eye animation on some Halloween animatronic. So yes, he absolutely should. Should I get one of those? I do have a giant nutcracker that I put in one video. It was a video with Drew. Yeah, this video. This huge ass nutcracker. I still own this and I actually still have all of these nutcrackers also. They're just in my basement. So in a sense, I, I do kind of have this. I guess not in every single corner of my room. I was thinking a while ago, it would be kind of funny if for one video, instead of having that in the background, I just hire somebody to dress up like that and like paint their face with like the smile and the rosy red cheeks and just stand perfectly still in the background for an entire video. But then I kind of feel like it would be like a waste of an entire video. Like no one would be paying attention to what I'm saying because they'd just be trying to figure out what the fuck is going on back there the whole time. Actually, you know what? I should plug that in. I just put the bulb back in this guy. A lot of people might not know this is a light up Christmas toy. Toy. Decoration. It's not a toy. It's serious. There we go. That's kind of nice, huh? I'm kind of worried even that might be too distracting. Is that... He turned... What the fuck? Why did it turn off? Oh, what the hell? Dude, the light bulb just burned out. That was so weird. It was like the second I looked away. Okay, well, guess we're not doing that. This post is called, am I crazy or... And the post reads, is Danny kind of fine? I started watching Drew Gooden recently and then found Curtis and Danny's videos and I'm surprised I never see fans mentioning his looks other than to say he looks young or that he's just Drew. Am I some strange outlier or just not part of this normal demographic? I don't think Drew or Curtis are attractive. It's just Danny. This is driving me insane. Yeah, I'm not gonna click on that, especially since it only has seven upvotes. 
gonna upvote that. Here's a post that's a petition for me to do a Reddit video, and that's actually the reason why I'm doing this Reddit video is because I saw this post, and it's got 300 upvotes, so how could I not? And it's got 50 comments, all being like, yes please, I vote, infinite votes. What does Reddit video mean? Okay. I'm sure if he knew, he would have voted yes. Okay, this post says, sup, I like Greg, and it looks like a selfie. I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> is this just a guy posting a selfie? This looks like a selfie from like 2006, if it is. What's up? Just wanted to say hi from 2006. I know Danny hasn't started making YouTube videos yet, but I just wanted to hop in and say what's good. Love the content, dude, and um, I like Greg. Part of me thinks that this is maybe supposed to be a doppelganger, because this guy has a, a big nose, and anytime anyone sees someone with a big nose, they post it on the subreddit saying it's a doppelganger. But there is a doppelganger label for this subreddit that this person did not use. They just put it in general. Okay, let's see what the comments say. Maybe someone can glean what this is supposed to mean. Someone said, A, it's Curtis. I guess they're probably talking about the guy with the curly hair. Is this meant to look like me and Curtis? Don't really think it particularly looks like either of us. Oh, this is when me and Curtis met in 2006. This is when, this is from that video where we sort of linked up as, as uh, 12 year olds and made a vlog together. I forgot that was our, this was actually our first collab. I was so nervous. You can tell by the way I'm standing. Person said, screw Apple products. We're using potato products over here. And then the original poster commented back, indeed. So he's seems to know that this is a shitty picture and he's proud of it. Okay, this is sick. I actually commented on this. This is from three days ago. I built Danny's old setup in Minecraft. This person like modeled this room in Minecraft, but the way that I used to have it set up, added all the decorations and stuff. I don't even know how you do some of this shit in Minecraft. Maybe they have it modded or something, but they got the Greg letters and the shelf and the nutcracker, the curtains. It looks very good. I commented on it and I said, why is my comment not top comment? My comment is like five comments down even more than that wait where is my comment my comments like almost at the bottom you guys know this is me right hey people on my subreddit this is me danny greg zalas i even have a thing under my name that says it's me danny i'm danny if i comment on something upvote it all right how embarrassing is that i don't even have the top comment on my own friggin subreddit let's see what other people are saying where the fuck do you get a little cactus that's solid callback someone responded like honestly i assume uh chisels and bits mod like this person is really so aggressively asking where they got the little cactus on the shelf. Where the fuck did you get that? I've been searching in Minecraft for years for a little cactus. Person's probably like, dude, take it easy, man. It's probably just a mod. Dude, that's amazing. How long did it take? No response. He's probably all crafting something else. Someone else's room. Maybe he'll do a different room in my house. Maybe my bedroom. I don't think I've ever showed that in a video. So it would, it would actually be very disturbing if, if they were able to do that. Oh, someone said, if you subscribe and don't turn on notifications, are you potentially Greg instead of truly Greg? Or are you just Gur? The EG can only be acquired by clicking on the bell icon. Okay, so are you like potentially Greg or are you like half Greg? You're just Gur. I think I voted on this. I think I voted GR. But now that I think about it, I mean like, I guess you're probably more just like a potential Greg or like a Greg in training or like a beta Greg. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna comment on this. I'm gonna set the record straight. You're beta Greg. And the alpha Gregs and the sigma Gregs have their notifications on. Actually, maybe alpha Gregs have are subscribed with notifications on and Sigma Gregs are also subscribed to this channel with their notifications on. I think that makes the most sense. It's that time of year again. Time to play I'm Gonna Kill Santa Claus. Did you guys know that this is my most viewed video on YouTube? I think just a few months ago, it passed one of my Troom Troom videos and now it's my most viewed video. I'm Gonna Kill Santa Claus has 17 million views compared to 15 million, 13 million are my other most viewed videos. 17 million views and it's not even like one of my regular videos. It's a music video. I should make more music videos. I haven't made one in a long time. I have a few songs that are like straight up done and I've just been kind of like putting off making music videos for them. I should do that. It just takes a lot of time to plan, you know? But I have a lot of fun doing them and it could become my new most viewed video. So why not? Maybe I should give it a go. Danny has spooky songs and this song. It's official. We need a Thanksgiving song from him ASAP. I think I thought about doing that once. I thought about like releasing a project of like spooky songs and one of them was gonna be called November 1st. That was actually sort of like a diss on Thanksgiving and November as a whole, because like, you know, if you think about a spooky guy, his favorite day of the year is, is Halloween, and then probably his least favorite day would be the day after that where everyone goes back to normal and pretends that shit never happened. Actually, let me see if I can uh, find that, because I know that I started making part of it when I just have it private on my SoundCloud. This was like years ago. Yeah, November 1st, two years ago. I don't think I finished making this, but forgive the singing. I this was definitely a rough draft. 
Yesterday I saw so many sexy cats But today I just see normal cats, what's up with that? Yesterday I walked around dressed in a witch's hat When I tried that shit today, everybody laughed Why? Why can't I be- So, that probably answers your question of whether or not I'll make a, a Thanksgiving song Fuck Thanksgiving Fuck Thanksgiving. Someone commented under this, I don't have Thanksgiving, what's it like? And then he responded with kind of a sweet little explanation of Thanksgiving. Well, it's just a lot of food and your family getting together. Turkey is normally the go-to for the main dish, but my family makes stuffing and mashed potatoes and roast some veggies and we eat until we can physically eat no more. Then we have some pumpkin pie. This post just turns into like a really sweet post about the, the meaning of Thanksgiving. It's about giving thanks. That's really the heart of it. Wait, what was this post about again? Killing Santa Claus. That's right. Okay. Does anyone still watch Danny's videos that came out two or three years ago? Looks like everyone does watch my videos that came out two or three years ago. That's kind of sweet. I have a few of my videos that are like favorites that I go back to and watch just for like nostalgia every once in a while. Especially videos that I filmed with other people like my collabs with Drew or Curtis or like videos from tour. If I'm feeling especially nostalgic. I guess some of them aren't even my videos, but like I'll go back and watch the Gooby video every once in a while if I want a good laugh. It's just kind of fun. And sure, maybe it is a little bit narcissistic to be enjoying my own videos, but I do it for nostalgia, just to kind of remember what it was like to be on the road with my boys or hanging out with my boys and having a good time. How did Danny get into music? I know he majored in computational media and that he's always wanted to do comedy and videos, but I don't know if he's ever mentioned how he got into playing guitar, writing, or producing music. I'm really into music, so I would like to know more about that. That's actually kind of a good question. I don't think I've ever been asked that before, or I don't think I've ever answered that before. I don't think he's ever answered that, but I know that he made music on one of his childhood YouTube channels, so I think it's safe to say he's been into it for a while. That's true. I did. I wonder what the first, like, musical thing I ever posted on YouTube was that I produced. I think the first bit of music I ever posted on YouTube was this video. Produced by yours truly. I started making music for two reasons, actually. One, because I wanted to make videos like this. I wanted to make music for videos that I was gonna make with my friends because we had a YouTube channel together. But I think that the reason that I actually downloaded FL Studio, which is what I started making music in, is because I listened to Skrillex in high school and I wanted to make dubstep like Skrillex. Well, let me see if I can find some of that, actually. I know I posted it on an old SoundCloud account. Let's see, this is the first thing I ever posted on SoundCloud. So probably one of the first things I ever made. This was 10 years ago, sometime in 2011. I would have been a junior in high school at the time, probably. And this is when I started making music. Oh, shit. I don't know what vibe that is. It's got a little something to it. Let's see, happy song. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I don't think I understood how music genres worked. I think I just sort of did like, <laughs> just played notes. Okay, here's dubstep. Yeah, this was 10 years ago. I've got tracks called dubstep, dubstep two, dope step. This is when I was getting into Skrillex. Dude, I haven't listened to this in so long, but like, I remember making this. That's so weird. What a SpongeBob remix. I hope my horrible ugliness won't be a distraction to you. Okay, that shit actually, that goes hard. Oh my God. So yeah, that's how I got into music. Okay, this is the kind of meme I like to see. This is like a real ass meme. Facebook and meta. Why doesn't this have any comments? This should have more upvotes and more comments. This is an actual meme related to my videos. Topical, very nice. Danny looking a little different here. Okay, I've gotten a lot of comments saying I look like the new Buzz Lightyear. And honestly, I think I see it. Let's compare here. This is a picture of my face from a thumbnail. And then here's the new Buzz Lightyear. We both have the blue eyes. I think the eyebrows are pretty similar. I get it. I see why people are saying it. I'm gonna cut this fool's face out and I'm gonna put it on my face and then we'll see how it looks. <laughs> 
Dude, that does look like me. It's me. <laughs> wow. That actually could be a cartoon version of me. I should say though, this happens every time Pixar comes out with a new movie. People tweet me saying that the main character looks like me. For some reason, every male Pixar character, or like, I feel like any animated movie now, for some reason, has to have like brown hair and blue eyes and a pronounced nose. Of course, people send me this guy all the time from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. People have sent me this guy before, the guy from Ratatouille that I look like. People were even sending me this guy. He's not even a human being. I don't know why Pixar style is just me. Oh shit, we got a controversial post over here. This person is aggressive. Reindeers don't have paws. This actually makes me so mad. In the song, I'm gonna kill Santa Claus, he says, when I hear those reindeer paws, I swear to God, it makes me so angry. He was so pissed off that he put an extra syllable in angry. I am angry. Okay, here's the thing. I know reindeer don't have paws now. The funny thing is I wrote this line because there's that Christmas song that's like up on the rooftop, reindeer paws, whatever. So I wrote that part kind of as a reference to that song. And cause I needed something that rhymed with Santa Claus. Come to find out that line isn't even talking about their paws. It's talking about reindeer pausing. Like, up on the rooftop, the reindeer, they pause. They stop for a second. I thought it was someone hearing clap, 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 reindeer pause. But, I don't think I've ever officially written out the lyrics to that song anywhere. I'm gonna kill Santa Claus. So, for all this person knows, and for all anyone knows, I could be also saying pause as in, when I hear the reindeer pause. Like, when I hear them stop on my roof, that's when I'm gonna break the law. It it's true that I, I was misinformed while writing the lyric, but I do think that it holds up because you can just change the version of pause and it's fine. Santa's reindeer are just built different. You know what? That's a fair response too. They can also fly. So it's like, you know, reindeer can't really fly in real life. So maybe that he can fly and he also has paws instead of hooves for some reason. This video is sponsored by Raycon, specifically Raycon's new everyday earbuds. These are them. It's the same great company that have been making these high quality earbuds that are half the price of other premium audio brands, but now they're even more convenient. They've got a better design, better sound quality, an improved rubber oil look and feel, and a built-in microphone for taking calls. All in all, they're great earbuds. These things fit really well. Both Laura and I will go for runs wearing these. I could be running for like an hour with these things in my ears and they won't fall out. They actually come with a bunch of different size of the gel ear tips so that you can find the right size for you. And all in all, these are just high quality earbuds. They're designed well. They don't like feel like cheap and like they're gonna fall apart. They feel sturdy. They come in a nice case that charges them. They offer eight hours of playback time and 32 hours of battery life. And if for some reason these aren't the right earbuds for you, they do offer a 45 day happiness guarantee. So if you're looking for some new wireless earbuds, whether you have wired ones right now, which are not ideal for any sort of like active activity, or if you just need to replace your current ones, I definitely recommend you check out the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. All you got to do is click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com furious to unlock some exclusive deals up to 20% off of your Raycon order. Again, that's the link in the description or buyraycon.com furious and you can get up to 20% off your order on some Raycons. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out Raycon. All right, well, you know what? I think that I had a pretty good time making this video and uh, maybe I'll do another. Let's see how it does. Let's see if people like it. Please post some more on the subreddit. Uh, give me a little bit more material to work with. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.